Hey, I'm TJ, and welcome to the Ace and TJ channel of the YouTubes. Um, this is my very first cooking video. Um, I don't know whether you call it a show, cooking show, but we will because I have a, a good name for it. It's called Fend for Yourself. And what it means is that if you don't know how to cook anything and you just get intimidated by it, this is mainly going to be for you. So you can see that you can make homemade things that are good and you don't really have to know a whole lot about cooking or even like cooking that much, really. The way um, I came up with the name is because my mom was a teacher when I was growing up. She's a retired teacher. And she would come in from school all tired and everything. And some nights we would say, what are we having for dinner tonight, mama? Because we're from Louisiana, so we talk that way. And um, she would say, I don't know, fend for yourselves. So my brother and I learned how to cook that way. And so it would only be appropriate for me to do the very first video uh, showing you how to cook the very first thing I learned how to cook when I was a kid. And it is chili. Okay, and everybody, everybody likes chili, pretty much. If you don't, then go away. Nobody needs you here. All right, I was gonna have this done already so you wouldn't have to worry about it and we wouldn't waste any time, but uh, Mr. Todd, the cameraman, said I needed to show this part. So we'll do it quickly. Um, we're gonna have, a uh, for the chili, half of a medium onion uh, chopped pretty finely. All right, so we'll do this really quick because you know, some people don't even know how to do that. So you cut it right there on each side, make a face on it like that, see? And then you cut it in half and then you peel it back, these layers. And if, if it looks brown or gross in any layer, I'm sure I peel off good layers of the onion sometimes, but I don't care, nobody wants that brown stuff in there. And it's not, it's not gonna mess it up any, just to get one extra layer off there, you'll still have plenty. Now, the one thing about it is, I hate a raw onion. I mean, I despise raw onion, so we're gonna be cooking this and making it soft and so you don't crunch down on an onion. So you take it this way and you go with your knife sideways like this. Dun, dun, dun. And then I learned this, I'm not gonna lie, I learned this from watching Giada De Laurentiis and her cute little Italian self on uh, Food Network. She take this and then go like this through the side of it. Don't go all the way through. And then you take your knife, leave the point of it on the cutting board and then just move it down onto the onion, you see? Just like that. And if you do it well enough, an extra light will pop on <laughs> that just did. Okay, so then you take it and pile it up and make another run through it really fast. It makes it look like you know what you're doing. Just chopping it, chopping it, chopping it, chopping it. Okay, and it doesn't matter, you know, if you leave some bigger chunks in there because it's gonna be cooking into the, in the meat. So, I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. All right, so there you go. There's your half uh, or so onion chopped. Let me, let me stop. Is that camera on? Mm -hmm. You see my pretty green eyes are watering from chopping that onion? Oh my goodness, I'm so sad. I got to choose one thing when we built our house a couple of months ago. My wife chose everything in the house except for the stove. So, I want to make sure that we get plenty of shots of the stove because I love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. But it will burn your face off if you don't know what's happening. So you light it up. Boom! Oh, gotcha. Okay, so we're going to heat the, uh, the pot because we're about to brown the, uh, the hamburger that goes in it. Or as a lot of Southerners say, the hamburger meat which is a little redundant. Now, I hate when people will just throw cold meat or something into a cold pot or a pan without heating it first. And somebody in my house does that, but I'm not saying her name. She does it all the time. And yes, she can hear me in there, but I don't even care, I'm not scared. All right, here we go. First thing we're gonna do is try to make it where it won't stick. So we're gonna spray it with Pam or whatever kind of non-stick cooking spray you wanna use. 
Uh, my wife gripes at me because I use too much Pam. You using too much? It's like, I don't know, I'm, it's not like it's gold and I can't get more. So your pot is hot. You got a hot pot. And you start browning about a pound of hamburger. Okay? And you're going to throw those onions in there with it that we chopped. You know, scrape them off in there like this. Don't make fun of my cutting board. I know y'all probably are. Get rid of that. So, you want to make sure that you keep stirring it around, flipping it, smacking it, rubbing it down. Oh no. You want to get it all chopped up in there. And this is my favorite um, browning spatula. You know, we all have our favorite tool. And scrape the bottom. Now, it may be a little bit hot on this, so you want a medium high heat, okay? You want the fire to be medium to high. And what's happening is these onions are cooking and they're getting soft, so we don't have to crunch down on raw onions. And it's helping um, keep, the, keep the meat moist. I think. Now look, here's another thing. Uh, I don't need a bunch of criticism. Look, if I know there are gonna be people going, what kind of chili is that? You're not making real chili and blah, blah, blah. Look, I'm not, I'm not trying to enter the world chili cook-off here. I'm just looking for people to be able to have dinner on the table in about 45 minutes, that's it. So if you don't think I'm doing it the right way and how do I call myself a chili cooker, then just save that. Cause I don't care. It's not a, it's not a famous, you know, chili recipe. And like I said, I'm not competing in any kind of competition. So mind your business. We're here to have fun and love one another. We're here to love one another y'all. Okay. So we're going to brown all this until there is no pink left. Okay. So we got the meat brown and it's drained. So brown it. It's not pink anymore. And then drain all of the grease out of it. But you can leave a little grease in there. Cause as we know, uh, fat, Tastes delicious, so you got that. Now, we're gonna add the seasonings and bring it all together as a chili. This is a fast chili that you can just throw together and go. I've said that already. So here, use the packet of chili season mix. Nope, some of you are freaking out. Oh, you don't use that. It's not, it's, you're cheating. It's fine, trust me, it'll be fine. Stir it all around in the meat. Get the meat seasoned up, all right? Now, while I'm doing this, I've turned the fire down to way low. Okay. That sounds good, doesn't it? Turn it down low. And by the way, this is the best spoon rest that you can buy. <laughs> that is the best. All right. So we're going to add to that a can of diced tomatoes. Some people like petite diced. I don't like that as well. And we're going to add two cans of chili beans in the sauce. Now, here's the thing. If you don't want beans, buy the beans anyway and drain them and use the sauce in the chili, but throw the beans away if you want. It works that way. Oh, and you can also use, if you don't want to use ground beef, you can use turkey or deer, ground deer meat, whatever you want to use. Two cans, the small ones, two small cans of tomato sauce. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what else? Oh. oh, wait, that's not it. Here it is. 12 ounces of water. You can also use a 12 ounce beer if you want to do that. That's really good. Now look, it looks like chili already. Look at that, y'all. It looks like chili. Now here's what, here's what I do. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I go make it a little bit more chili tasting with some chili powder. Add a little extra chili powder over the top. I don't know how much that is, I just eyeball it. But then you gotta be careful when the condensation is coming up off the pot, it makes the chili gum up at the shaker. So I'm doing it. Like, there you go. And then I add some of this. Now, this is a Creole seasoning. You can find this anywhere. Uh, in Louisiana growing up, this was in our house all the time. We used it like we would salt. 
There are several different kinds that are great. I just happen to have today Tony Sachery's, the original Creole seasoning. Um, there's a brand called Slap Your Mama that's really good from Louisiana. And then there's also another um, guy that is famous on the TikTok and, and on the YouTubes and everything from Louisiana. His name is Stale Cracker. And he has his own called Cajun Two-Step. But this adds a little bit more heat to it and it's a different type of heat rather than chili powder. It's got cayenne in it. So I put just a little bit over the top like that. So you can adjust it however you want, depending on how spicy you want. So then we're gonna stir that in. My mouth is watering. I'll tell you why in just a little while. It's not just because I wanna eat this chili. There's a special reason why my mouth is watering. And then we're gonna turn up the heat. We're gonna bring it up, all right? And I know that um, if the camera is catching me when I bend over like that, you're just thrilled at getting to view my luxurious head of hair that I have. All right, so we're gonna bring this up to a boil, kind of pretty like a heavy simmer, not a rolling boil or a ball, as they say in Louisiana, that's a rolling ball. It is just a, a heavy simmer, all right? So we'll let it get to that. All right, so we have gotten up to the heavy simmer that I was talking about, a low boil. And the whole time it's getting to that point, you need to stir it every couple of minutes to make sure that it's not sticky. Okay, so this is where we are right now. So, the only thing left to do, is that annoying? The only thing le left to do is we're gonna turn the fire down on it and we're gonna bring it to a low simmer. We're gonna let it simmer down. Now, I have a lid to my favorite pot here. Um, but I never hardly ever use lids when I'm cooking gumbos or soups or chilies or anything like that. Because you see this evaporation going on? Evaporation means that the flavors are getting concentrated into whatever it is you're cooking. So evaporation equals concentration. So the flavors are concentrated in there. So when you do that though, what's happening when it's evaporating is that the, the liquid part of it is going to become less. So it may get thicker and you may have to add water or whatever, but we're not gonna simmer this long enough for it to get thin, I mean uh, thick. It's gonna stay the perfect consistency when we're finished. So we're gonna leave it at a low simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes, like we said. Um, this is not you know, gonna, gonna be a chili that you would serve to the mayor if he's coming over. This is just for your, you know, your bunch of ingrates in your family coming in hungry, expecting something to eat. Okay, so it's done. Now it's done. And um, I'll go ahead and explain why earlier I said my mouth was watering so much while I'm doing this is because um, I'm fasting today. So I haven't had anything to eat all day and I won't be able to eat for another six hours. So this is actually killing me. It's just, just destroying me right now. But hey, look, you know what? You know what? I got the willpower. I let myself get into this physical condition and I'm gonna have to get myself out and it's not gonna be easy. No, no, it's not, but it's on me. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get a ladle. That's what this is called, a ladle. And we're gonna serve it up. Now here's, we're gonna serve it up to our guest for today. I'm not gonna give him too much because my wife wants this for dinner. Don't wanna mess that up. She got it in the bowl and how cute is that bowl, y'all? Look at that, look how cute that bowl is. All right, and Mr. Todd, the cameraman, is gonna be the one to try the chili today. Now, we're gonna take some Fritos. I'm sorry, not Fritos, Fritos. Fritos. Fritos, which is what every guy with a foot fetish wants. <laughs> you heard what I said, you heard me. All right, so we're gonna throw those in there. And Mr. Todd has food allergies, 
but only to uh, shrimp and seafood kind of crustaceans. So you can eat cheese. Yeah, I can eat. So I'm gonna throw some cheese on there. Talk into my mic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right here. Is that enough cheese for you? Yeah, that's good. Now I would put some hot sauce in it and stuff like that, but he's got a delicate palate and he doesn't like spicy food. So this may even be a little too spicy. Oh my God. Do All I right, stir there it you up? go. Yeah, stir it up. Get in there and see what it tastes like. It's very hot, so don't burn your little mouth. Don't burn your pretty mouth. Oh. Eat it slow now. I want to see that pretty mouth. Okay. That's hot, isn't it? No good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you knew he was going to say that. I mean, even if he thought it was disgusting, he's going to say it's good. No, it's really good. Okay. I like it. All right, so there you go. That is the first episode of Fend for Yourself. And um, look, nothing groundbreaking, none of it is. I just hate when people say I can't cook for myself. I have to wait for somebody else to cook for me or I can only eat cereal uh, if I'm not going out to eat, things like that. So we'll be doing a lot of, kind of, a lot of these kinds of things like this and then we'll do some more advanced stuff too. Um, that is if you, if you watch and we have enough people participating and all. Other than that, I'm not wasting my time. I'm not doing it just for fun. I'm doing it for funds we need the money send your donate no don't send a donate <laughs> all right so todd's gonna finish eating and um don't forget to check out the ace and tj show on our 5g on our app with all the different podcasts if you're wondering where my wife is she's in the other room because she gets enough of the spotlight during our podcast we don't need her on you know, we can't afford her. She charges us every time we put her on camera, so we can't afford it. 